What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies. Guys, today I think we are going to start working on a tree farm. Mm hmm. Yep. So, the reason why we want to do that is our machines that we made last episode were being powered by Sterling Dynamos. And these require some kind of solid fuel. We were using coal because we were collecting coal through our chests here, right? We do have a little bit of coal remaining, but yeah, these have been turned off for quite a while. I've been kind of like deciding what I wanted to do for like, I don't know, the last couple of Minecraft nights, I suppose. And we have collected some in the meantime, so we could repower them, but all the coal that we had in there has, yeah, we've gone through it all. We have smelted up quite a lot of items and we have doubled a bunch of ores. In fact, we come over here to our ore chest and see we have over two stacks of iron blocks, which is fantastic. Yeah, so I've been blockifying a lot of our resources as well, trying to save space instead of just upgrading so we can hold more. Yeah, I realize that we can take like our raw gold and compress that and so on and so forth. Once we get into storage drawers and we get into compacting drawers, a lot of our resource um, storage space issues will be solved. But yeah, I found that you can blockify quite a few things. So like sugarcane and cactus and cocoa beans. A lot of things you normally can't really blockify. I was able to blockify some sulfur. I did not do our glowstone because I do not think you can freely convert from glowstone to blocks and back again. Yeah, everything that I was converting, you can just easily take it, turn it into a block, or turn it back into the unblockified version. <laughs> so that was my requirement for doing that, is to make sure we can go back and forth very easily. Okay, so setting up a tree farm, I think, makes a lot of sense. If we set up a tree farm, we can collect wood, which we need for just crafting and stuff. We can take that wood and smelt it into charcoal, and then we can put that charcoal into our sterling dynamos over here to provide the power that we need in order to keep our machines up and running. So to me, I think that makes a lot of sense for our first step here for today. Now, in order to make a tree farm, there are a few different ways that we can go about it. But, I think we're going to use the pedestal mod. This is, like I said, this is a mod that I haven't really experienced before in any other pack. So I would like to check it out. We did see that this mod can generate RF, but it didn't seem like it was very good. I didn't check to see if there was a way that we could put upgrades in there, and maybe some other things, and maybe eventually it'll be like the best RF producing mod on the planet. I don't know, <laughs> probably not, but... We didn't explore all of that, but I do know that you can put in a chopper upgrade into a pedestal and have a cut down trees. I believe that also does leaves as well. So that's pretty cool. There is a planter upgrade so we can have a pedestal that will replant saplings for us. There is a fertilizer upgrade which will help speed up the plant growth, trees or crops. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, right here, there's a magnet upgrade so all the drops that the chopper leaves behind, we can collect. So there's a lot of things here that we can do. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of resources, so let's go ahead and bookmark some of these things. So we can kind of take a look at what we are going to need for this. So we have all of those upgrades over there. We've seen the pedestals before, that's just stone, so that's not a big deal. Other than that, I think I think these are the, the big ticket items here. So in order to make the fertilizer upgrade, we just need a composter and bone meal. That's rather inexpensive. Some slabs and a piece of bone meal. The planter upgrade requires some seeds, some various different things here. I think we might have an issue with this. For now. I think we can solve it, but I don't think we have those. So the chopper upgrade is just an iron axe, that's pretty simple, and the magnet upgrade is an iron plus copper and redstone, so that is pretty simple. We have all of that right now as well. Okay, so the planter upgrade, we need a bunch of different seeds. Carrot, potato, beetroot, I'm pretty sure we don't have these things, guys. We have flax, is that... Will that work? I don't think so. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for, so we need to do a few things. Now, the most obvious thing to do is like, hey, you have bone meal, just bone meal the grass. Well, this cannot be bone meal, I'm right clicking. Uh, yeah, you cannot bone meal this. We need to actually get 
real grass in order to do that. So that's out. <laughs> the other option, if we, whoops, uh, we go into here and we look at recipe, we should see, oh, maybe we don't see. Okay, so there is a couple of options here. We have the market where we could buy all of these items from. What I was expecting to see was a way that we could sift dirt for these things. Maybe I clicked on the wrong seed to see such things. Try this one. Yeah, I'm not seeing it here either. Phytogenic insulator. Oh, sifting recipe. Maybe I, I did see it. I just overlooked. No, uh, I don't see wheat seeds being generated. So maybe wheat seeds is not something that we can do, but sweet berries, beetroot. I don't even remember what all the other items were that we needed. Potato and carrot. Was that something that we could get from there? Anyway, so there's a few things that we can do by sifting dirt, which uh, makes sense to me that we should probably do so we can get those resources. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of time here. I'm gonna make some of these upgrades that we can make and then we'll start looking at setting up a tree farm. All right, guys, well, I made a platform over here. What the heck is that? What are all of these things? <laughs> I made a platform over here. It turned night. oh my goodness, it's coming. It's fast. Why do you exist? No, you don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> no! Dang it. Why do you even exist? What are these baby creepers all about? Look, it's so happy. It's smiling. Um, what are these things? They are, it's coming right for me. A Wilden, oh, okay. It's a Wilden Stalker. I guess they uh, redesigned that a little bit. Okay, so that thing just dropped a Small pile of gunpowder. Yeah, these things are a little creepy. Uh-huh. Uh, spiders. The spiders shouldn't bother us unless we attack them during the daylight. Okay. And quest completed. Anyway, so I made a platform over here. I forgot to light it up. I was taking care of compressing some resources, and I saw all those monsters over there, and I figured that we would discover what they are together here. So we got some raw earth shards and miniature red heart. Oh, bobbly heart. Canister, look at this. So in order for us to do anything with that, we need some string and some wool. Uh, actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. Heart amulet. Okay. And then you can upgrade them if you get some melted blue hearts, you get the, the blue hearts and the yellow hearts. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, I think you need to do it this way. Get the heart canister and then you combine them together so you can uh, increase your overall health. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll put, man, I guess we're going to stick mob drops in here. We haven't had to deal with mob drops yet, so I don't know what we're going to do with them. Maybe they'll go into like this other random chest that we have. So yeah, I needed to get some torches out here. So when it turns nighttime, we don't have to deal with that. But yeah, I went ahead and I made another material generator so we can generate some cobblestone. So we have something to build with. Otherwise, we just have like dirt to build out of. That's not very good. So yeah, I set up another um, pedestal over here. It's in a pretty bad location to be honest, but I wanted it to be in line with our other things. We had machines on this side, so the only available spot was right here. So that's what I ended up doing is putting our material generator over here, and then we are just generating cobblestone. You see we only have 217 in there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can speed this up in any particular way. So like, if you look at the material generator here, it says can increase speed, which makes you think that you can increase the speed. And then I saw there are speed augments, but if you press shift on it, it says decreases number of ticks between transfers. Maximum allowed to insert five. I don't know if that actually affects like how fast it generates materials. I don't know. But if it does increase it, if we put five in there, then I would assume it would generate two cobblestone per second instead of one. Per second, I assume is how fast this thing is going. Anyway, uh, that's something that we'll worry about a little bit later. But yeah, we have this platform over here now. So the next step is we need to get our pedestal set up so we can start doing some things. So yeah, we need to get ourselves a planter pedestal so we can replant the saplings. Uh, we might set this up to be more of a manual thing where I just fill up a chest full of saplings and then like when it runs out I'll just refill it and we'll automate that a little bit later. So yeah, I think we'll place like our plant or pedestal somewhere around here, I guess. Uh, we need a fertilizer pedestal which we'll probably set in the center. 
That would be my guess where I would probably want that. Uh, we do have to set work areas on these things. So I made some work area cards. You make those using a work tool and you make the work tool. Well, how do you make it? There's no recipe for it. You make the work tool by taking, I think this is the upgrade tool and you shift right click it in the air. Yeah, so then you can go, whoop, I passed it. I passed it again, work tool. Yep, and there you go. So you take that and then you craft with it and then you can swap it to back to the upgrade tool like we had it originally. Okay, so we need to set a work area for this pedestal to work. So what we want to do, since this is going to be fertilizing, we want from that block to this block, right? So I believe I shift right click and then shift right click. So we selected point 0.1, point 0.2, put it in our offhand and then right click on there. And that satisfies it. So that'll be the same thing that we do for the planting uh, pedestal as well. We will have to do that same thing. In fact, I should leave this here so we can actually do that same thing. Uh, let's see, planting upgrade. Oh, do I not have, maybe I didn't make that yet. I did not make that yet. Okay, so we'll worry about that when we get there. Uh, next step is, let's see, we need the chopper upgrade. So that means we need a chopper pedestal. I guess we can probably just stick that one right there. So I will place that like that work area needs. Okay, so we'll do another point 0.1, point 0.2, offhand, right click. Work selection is invalid. Hmm, I think this actually needs a height, if I remember correctly. I don't know if that is, it's out of range or if it needs a height for this to work. Let's, um, Let's undo this. You can actually remove the upgrades without breaking the pedestal, but it's easy enough for me to break it. So that's what I'm just going to do. Uh, so we'll do this. So shift right click in the air to clear it. So if I do a shift here and then a shift here and then I put it in there, is it happy? Nope. It still says it's invalid. Okay. So one thing I do know with these pedestals, if you right click on them, It'll show the area. Yeah, so this area has been modified. Okay, so here's the problem. You see the big blue box? The, bl the big blue box is the area in which the pedestal can perform its action, right? That actually extends under... So the, the pedestal is in the exact center. It goes up above the pedestal so many blocks and the same amount down below. The area that I have selected here is the the red box and you can see it extends outside of the blue box and that is something you cannot do right so i need to actually move this pedestal in one block or just move it next to this fertilizer pedestal we could put it on top of the fertilizer pedestal uh would be another option in fact what i probably want to do is move this pedestal high high enough up in the air where the bottom of the blue box down there, which is really hard to see, <laughs> uh, is at ground level. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing, is uh, moving that to the exact center, kind of floating, right? And then, yeah, we can get the maximum amount out of our chopper upgrade. All right, so I went ahead and I placed the pedestal in the exact center, and I placed it so the bottom of the blue box is at the bottom of this platform here, well, I guess, yeah, on top of these bottom blocks, whatever. So it will be able to reach this block, for instance. And yeah, I went and I right clicked this post and then I went over to the opposite corner and I pillared all the way up until a dirt block was in the corner right there and right clicked on that one. So that set the the bounding box between that point and this point down here, put it onto the pedestal and this is where we are right now. So you can see it's basically the entire size of this platform that this chopper upgrade is going to work on, which is great. Um, and then we have our fertilizer one down here once again, which is just going to fertilize above the blocks. That's all we need. Okay, so this one should be set. So the next thing is we do need to get ourselves the planter upgrade. Otherwise, like nothing else can work here. So let's go ahead and figure this one out. So we needed pumpkin seeds and the recipe for pumpkin seeds. We cannot sift for it but we can mark it for it. Uh, if we go to wheat seeds again, we can sift for it, but we can mark it for it. So either way, we're going to have to make the market is where we are with this. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not fill this in. I guess I can do that now. <laughs> Creeper. 
Uh, a little creeper. I'm glad it didn't like do a big explosion. My biggest fear when I was fighting is that it would explode right here and cause a big mess. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Right, so we need to get ourselves a market. So let's do that. Market? So that means that we need a piece of red wool. We're going to need five logs, two planks, and then red wool. Do I have any wood? I have very little wood. So there's that. We need some planks. Uh-huh. And yeah, we need red wool. So as far as wool goes, I think we can make string out of flax, right? So we have that under control. And we had two string from that spider earlier. So there is a wool, but we need to turn this into red wool. So we need red dye. How do we get red dye? Is there a fish? Huh. Maybe a fish spawned in my water wheels downstairs? I'm not sure. I heard a fish like flopping around there. I was like, what the heck? Okay, so how do we get red dye? That is uh, definitely a thing. So beetroot turns into red dye. Do we have beetroot seeds? Because that would make this super simple. We have flax seeds. We don't have beetroot seeds. Unfortunate. What else can we do? If we had a rose bush, a red tulip, or a poppy, we could also do that. Cutting board. We can cutting board a few things. I'm not seeing anything that we have. Squeezer. We could squeeze some things. Yep, so there is definitely something that we need to do here in order to get that. Um, we're actually, do we have a poppy? I feel like they give you a poppy. Didn't they? I don't see one. Wasn't there a quest that gives you a pro poppy? Maybe... Well, okay, yeah, this quest does give you a poppy. We have not observed a Minecraft bee. One, ha A loot bee has not spawned in this island, as far as I know. I think that's how I made a market when I was uh, live streaming this pack a little bit previously. But unfortunately, that's not something that we can do now. So I need to figure out another way for us to get red dye. Right, so we're trying to make ourselves this planter upgrade, right? And in order to do that, we need bee root seed, wheat seeds, carrot, and potato. Or we can do pumpkin seeds, melon seed, and sweet berries. Now we have gotten some combination of a few of these different things. If we take a look in our iron chest here, we do have some sweet berries. We have, what else do we have? We have some beetroot, and that's about it. <laughs> so we have a few of them. But that's kind of interesting because I think the sweet berries, you can turn this into red dye, can't you? No, you cannot. But we could grow the beetroot and turn it into red dye. Another option is we also got this pasture seed previously, which we could turn dirt into grass, bone meal that, and then that would give us our wheat seed, that would give us our red dye. I think this is what we're actually going to do for right now instead of doing uh, beetroot seed. So let's go over here to our pedestal area. We'll just right click that on the ground here. That's going to make some grass and then we can just bone meal that grass, get ourselves a poppy, right? Well, that'll help us out later if the bee actually spawns for one. That'll also allow us to get our wheat seeds that we need. So I think this is probably our best option at this point. So let's just go ahead and do this. Uh-huh. And maybe we'll... Oh, oh, I gotta be careful. Okay, hold on a second. Let me take this claw off. <laughs> That's scary. I'm gonna take all this stuff off. And I'm gonna go get myself one more piece of dirt. Yeah, I don't want to accidentally uh, punch the ground and delete it and make me fall into the void. That would be <laughs> not a good time, I don't think. Definitely not a good time. Okay, so yeah, we can do that, and I guess I can just vein mine, destroy all this stuff. Eventually, we should find ourselves a poppy and possibly a, uh, a dandelion. Need these blocks. Yep, there we go. Not getting very lucky on the flowers, so maybe there's something more to this that I, I am missing that we are not going to be able to get the flowers, hmm? I would think by now we would see at least one flower. Is there something to do that we are in the warm ocean that the flowers don't spawn, or are we just getting extremely unlucky? That, I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm going to keep at this for a little while, see if I can get myself a poppy to spawn. If nothing else, we can grow that beetroot and then um, plant it over in our tilled soil over there. I did go ahead and take a glowstone. I made a chisel, and then I chiseled it into a smooth glowstone. That way we can keep the center 
of this area illuminated. And then I threw some torches around the outside to take up the rest of the area. So this is all non-spawnable. When I did make that glowstone, however, it, cre it uh, completed a quest. And that quest gave us these things. Sparks. Spawn invisible light sources. So I assume those invisible light sources are how this island is illuminated by default. <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and continue on with this process and then we'll be back guys. Well, I went through a lot of bone meal and we didn't get a single flower yet. I'm expecting that we cannot get flowers either because they've been disabled by bone meal in this mod pack or you just can't spawn them in a warm ocean biome. Regardless, we were not able to get it. So I went directly to the poppy tab or to the poppy item. And look to see how you can craft it. And sure enough, there is a recipe if we want to sift for it. But again, I think this is going kind of beyond what we need to do. Um, yeah, so we did get a few different items here. We got some old roots. We got some demons, dream seeds, sage seeds, and then a whole bunch of wheat seeds. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we I guess what we need to do at this point is just take our beetroot seed and then grow that. We have bone meal. And we have some tilled soil over here, so to get ourselves the red dye, this is seems to be the way that we're just going to end up doing it. And boom. <laughs> one whole beetroot, one whole red dye, let's go. That was like the most epic quest for one piece of red dye I have ever been on, but here we are. Okay, so now that we have the red dye, we can take that with the red wool, and now that we have all of that, we can go to our market and craft it aha okay so now that we have the market we'll place that right there and we'll drop our dude out of the sky the weathered salesperson and now we have access to all of these things so they all cost an emerald if i wanted wheat seeds an emerald if i wanted carrots an emerald potato an emerald thankfully we have lots of emeralds at this point let's take a look here yeah we got plenty so i'll just go ahead and grab this so i think we need the carrot and the potato one carrot please one potat, please. Let's go back. Oh, no, not in here. Go into this thing. And we have beetroot. We have wheat. So we should be able to make ourselves the planter upgrade now. Okay, guys. So I think we're just about ready to get this tree farm going, I think. So I built a lower platform here. Yeah, quark is in this mod pack. And with that, you can aim on the bottom side of a block and place blocks below it. Or you can also kind of do the same thing if you place it to the side and place them next to it. So yeah, I was able to uh, build my way down here safely, which was pretty nice. We just made some ladders and a little trap door so we don't have a hole in the floor when we're done in the maintenance area down below. And this mod pack also has uppers. So if you put a hopper in your crafting grid, you invert it into an upper. So I have a pedestal down here that the, that is a magnet pedestal. Let's do this and we can see the the work area that it can be in and the magnet is picking up basically everything on this platform, right? Okay, so that magnet pedestal should be collecting all of the logs the saplings the sticks Everything that's gonna end up from these trees and that's gonna end up in this chest This is obviously gonna need to be upgraded, but just to get us going here uh, and then out of this chest, I'm using an item pipe from the pipes mod. I have put in a diamond upgrade, which you need in order to get the filter mode to work. So we want to whitelist only oak saplings going upwards into this pedestal that has the planting upgrade on it, right? So yeah, this chest is going to have everything from us chopping down the trees. Only the saplings are going to end up going into this pedestal, and the pedestal is going to replant all the saplings, supposedly. If we uh, turn on the work area for that, we should be able to see that it is located just above the dirt, right? So it's not going to try and plant over here and waste time. It's only going to be planting above the dirt. All right, so I think with all of that said, if I just put saplings into here, it should... Oh, wow, that was pretty quick. So yeah, the saplings are on that pedestal. I don't know if there's anything else we need to do to get that to plant. It says the pedestal has the saplings in there and it has a planting upgrade. So is there something else that I need? Do I have to give this power in order for it to operate? Maybe it needs power. 
I could have sworn I did this before and I did not need power. Uh, unless it can only plant on dirt and maybe not grass, which I don't think would be the case. <laughs> uh, all right, well, yeah, there's obviously something else that I have missed here. I thought this was going to be a flawless execution. You guys are going to be wowed with my amazing skill. But yeah, there's obviously one more thing that I need to do to get that planter to plant. So let me figure it out. So I think I figured out what the problem is, as silly as this is. I had everything set up correctly, but I did have this pedestal upside down on the smooth glowstone block. I didn't realize that the it would make any difference at all, the direction, the orientation that the pedestal is, but apparently it does for this planter. So yeah, we only broke it, replaced it facing upwards now. And if I put saplings into here, they go into the pedestal and you can see that we are now planting. Yeah, so that's a little weird. <laughs> anyway, we are now planting the saplings in the locations that we want, which is fantastic. So the next thing is we need to make sure everything else is working. I don't know why this one didn't plant here. I'm sure it'll pick it back up when it comes back around though. Uh, let's grab some bone meal and grow one of these saplings and see if the chopping works and then we'll see if everything else about this works. Hopefully I have not made any further mistakes and this will just work as expected. Okay, so we have a tree here. So we need the chopper uh, chopping upgrade, which is right there to uh, decide to chop down this tree. I think these need speed upgrades because it has like 81 blocks. It's got to check right in order to find something to chop. Uh, maybe I could grow another one and then we'll see something happen. Okay, so it looks like we are chopping at this point, these leaves right here, so it must be going down this row. So that means it's going to be checking these blocks, and then eventually we should see these disappear, and I think it'll take care of the trunk on the next one. I'm not sure. But a few of these other trees have grown pretty quickly. You can kind of see these particles down here appearing, and that is from... That is from this guy right here. <laughs> that is bone mealing, or doing whatever it is that it is doing. Uh... Okay, so there's some more things that it's chopping down, some saplings, and those get collected by our magnet pedestal. And you can hear that we are planting some more saplings, so it would appear that this is working, but our chopper needs to be upgraded. This is really slow. So I think that is probably something that I'll work on is get some speed upgrades into that. Well, we already tried the speed upgrade on the energy pedestal, but I decided that I would try it again. Maybe something's different between the energy pedestal and our chopping pedestal up here. Turns out, no, no, that's not. <laughs> so yes, I went ahead and I uh, crafted up a bunch of obsidian so I can make, I think I made three more speed augment tier ones and I upgraded them to the tier twos. The tier two requires diamonds and more obsidian, so I, Went ahead and I got more obsidian or more lava, squeezed out another stack of of our blaze powder that we had in here, turned it into lava, and then I removed like a three by three section of grass, put lava there, etc. Et anyway, we vein mined the obsidian and I made the upgrades and I have four speed tier twos in there and I'm not seeing any difference. So to me, it would appear if we want to speed this up, I'm just going to need more choppers, right? So we'll probably end up making a few choppers here. We'll put one above like every three by three area or something like that. I think so that would be nine choppers in total. That way they are only accountable for a far fewer amount of blocks. So any tree that spawns or that grows in those three by three, we should get chopped down pretty quickly. That would be my assumption anyway. And that's how we can get this thing to speed up. Uh, you can see right now, it looks like it's chopping back here a little bit. You can see we are chopping, but yeah, there's a lot of growth here and a lot of trees that aren't being cut down. And then I'm seeing there's floaty stuff like items that are despawning on top of the leaves. Well, at least they're spawning up there and they have a chance of despawning with how slow this thing is chopping. Uh, since our magnet is only looking at the bottom row of blocks here. So yeah, there's a few things that we can do to improve this, but overall, just being able to collect <laughs> wood automatically, I think that's huge. That is huge. Yeah, we're not spending bone meal or anything like that. Oh, we got a wandering trader down here. Uh, yeah, we can see we are collecting a decent amount of wood. 
And we're getting a few other things here. We did have some pigs spawn, and I guess they died to a tree growing on them. That would be that'd be my guess. I didn't kill the pigs. Um, but yeah, I think overall this is pretty awesome. Where where'd you go? Come here. Come here. Where'd you go? I can't see you. Right clicking, right clicking. He's over here now. Aha! Okay, what do you got? A Chthonic Extractor? Of course you do, that's what I was expecting. An Elytra for two emeralds? What the heck? And a bunch of... bunch of heads that I don't care about. Okay, well, it looks like Elytras aren't that rare. We can always get them from wandering traders when they appear. So that's pretty cool. Um... But yeah, I think we're probably gonna end up wrapping it up for today. Oh, there's the other pig that spawned. Yeah, there was two pigs I saw. One of them must have... Oh, I looked at a pig. Task completed. <laughs> Yeah, one of them must have died to a tree growing on it, unfortunately. And the other one's right here, so we got ourselves a little pig buddy. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up here for today. Uh, next time, we probably take some of this wood that we're now collecting and start making more drawers. I don't know what it's going to cost for, like, the drawer controller and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we definitely need drawers for these resources. We're going to need drawers for our trees over here. So a few things <laughs> we still need to work on. Uh, but yeah, Wood is going to unlock that for us, so that's super cool. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.